Hi guys, so today's video is going to be about <clears throat> what new energy is coming into play this year, this upcoming year. New, new year, new energy. So let's see what is going to be happening. Take a moment to get in touch with your higher self and your intuition and pick the pile you're most drawn to. Pile 1, 2, and 3. And we're going to get started with pile 1. It's going to be a very long reading today. <laughs> There's a lot of cards for it. So, for pile one, we have a lot of very sensual energy coming into play. Also a lot of third eye opening and awareness, intuition, connection, to the powers that be, whatever powers you believe in, and alignment with your purpose and path. For the type of people you're going to be drawing in this year, the new type of people that are going to be coming your way, or the new energy of people coming into play this year, you have passionate, fiery, creative, innovative, sassy, competitive, passionate, and sexy. So... You have a lot of fire coming your way as far as people coming in. You've got a lot of people who are creative, innovative, fiery, passionate, emotional, just really center of attention kind of people. Kind of like a Leo where, you know, very competitive, fun, fiery, passionate, sexual, sensual types of things going on here. <laughs> we have knowledge and wisdom are keys that will get you far. Reliance and trust allow you to move forward in a graceful way. Or sorry, not reliance, patience, but maybe there's something about more reliance coming in this year as well. So I think you might be learning a lot this year, maybe possibly from these people, because, you know, a lot of those, a lot of people that are very fiery, passionate like that, they're, they're not people that are going to back down. They're going to be who they are. They're going to express who they are. They're going to stand their ground. They're going to fight their battles and they're not going to let anything get in their way. And so you might be learning a lot from these people and you might have to have a lot of patience and trust to be able to move forward in these connections as well because sometimes it's really hard to trust people that are so fiery in nature even though you know fire can be amazing and beautiful and wonderful and transformative at the same times sometimes you can get burned by fire right so there's a need here to be trusting and allow yourself to move forward in a graceful way being around people helping and feeling useful is what fulfills you the most Peace and persistence are both important on your path. So this year, there's going to be a lot of realizations for you, I think, and you're going to start to notice exactly what really fulfills you the most, and you're going to start doing it, regardless of what anybody else thinks. And you're going to be very peaceful in moving forward on your path. You're going to be very persistent because you know that it's important to you and you're really going to put your all into making things happen and you're going to have a lot of people around you who are going to inspire you to do just that because that's what those people do. They inspire, they create, they bring life to dead situations, they transform things and bring out that inside, what's underneath kind of thing. We also have joy and inspiration follow you wherever you go. You light up the world with your passion. Yeah, so you might be starting to release any shame or guilt over your own passionate side, over your own massive amount of emotions that maybe others made you feel like weren't a good thing in the past. You're going to start seeing that they are a good thing and that they light up the world, that you bring joy and inspiration everywhere you go because you're finally accepting those sides of yourself. You set healthy boundaries and don't allow others to walk on you, but you have a heart of gold. And so you also are somebody who is able to really set very healthy boundaries. So you have nothing to worry about. You have a very big heart and a heart of gold and you would be there for anybody. You'd be there to pick up the pieces when they're done destructing too, but you aren't going to let them destruct you in the process. 
And maybe this is something you have worked very hard to get to this level and gone through a lot to be able to do this because I know I have in order to do that exact thing. Your wit and charm always keeps the conversation flowing. Your peaceful presence calms any atmosphere. So you're somebody who's very charismatic and can really talk and and charm anyone around you, you know, and you bring a lot of calm and peace to atmospheres. You bring a lot of patience and trust in and a lot of knowledge and wisdom into others. And I think you're really going to step into this power a lot more this year. We have be grateful for the little things we take so much for granted when we don't take time to smell the roses. Align with your true purpose to move forward. Release control and don't focus on the outcome. Be present in the moment. Yeah, that's kind of what I was feeling is this pile is really aligning with your true purpose, aligning with your path, aligning with your guides and the synchronicities you're receiving and really starting to believe in and trust that and really starting to find a deep sense of peace because you're finally coming into your path instead of fighting it and swimming upstream. You're finally going to be going with the flow and able to gracefully move forward, accepting all the changes coming your way. As long as you remember to keep your focus on the present moment and in what you're doing and the steps you're taking and taking those little steps and planning and slowly going, you know, and not focusing on what the end goal is going to be, you're going to be just fine. Taking the time out for yourself and taking the time out to notice and appreciate all of the things around you would really help you as well. You know, kind of like the fact that we all got showers, we all got bathtubs, we got a toilet that has running water. At least, you know, I do in this country. And if you live in this country, then you do too. Not everybody does in this world. If you don't live in this country or if you don't have that going on, there are other things to be grateful for and... I'm sorry that I have a running shower and toilet. <laughs> anyway, there's always something you can find to be grateful for, though. Even a guy living on the street. Think about how grateful that guy is just to have his coat. Now imagine how ungrateful we are at times to not even think of the fact that we have seven outfits and a coat. Be grateful, and it will bring you a lot more abundance as well. And I think there's a lot more energy of gratefulness just coming into your life in general. Maybe others around you weren't so grateful. And now they're starting to see things for what they really are and starting to appreciate you a lot more. But it's also because you're starting to appreciate yourself and you're starting to align yourself with your true purpose. And you're starting to release any shame and guilt over who you truly are. Joy. To enjoy something, I simply need to add joy to it. Joy is like butter. I can put it on anything and it'll make it way better. Today I will add joy to everything. Really slather it on. Today I am the Orville Redenbacher of joy and life's popcorn is about to get it. So there's just going to be a lot of happiness, a lot of freedom, I think, really, in this pile coming into your future this year, into your energy. There's going to be a lot of joy, simplicity. There's going to be a lot of happiness and peace at just the smallest of things, I think, really. Ultimate potential, <laughs> once again, aligning with your path. I choose to live a life to, of my fullest potential. I trust that this will draw me towards experiences and people that support my growth and accomplishment. Once again, these are the type of people that are going to be supporting you and inspiring you and making you feel like you can do better and making you want to compete to do better. Tuning into this frequency, I now reach higher heights than I ever thought possible. Knowing that's an option, why would I have ever tuned into anything else? I am looking at you, Smooth Jazz and Talk Radio. I'm looking at those people that put you down, tear you down, don't believe in your dreams, think that everything is impossible because they've never had a dream in their life that they've felt comfortable going after. Those are the kind of people that you're going to be leaving behind in your past because they don't serve your highest good and you're going to start running into more people who encourage you on your path. And we also have manifestation or spell, cauldron or containment, and hex or banishment. Once again, getting rid of any of the energies that no longer serve you and manifesting the energies that do serve your highest good in. And I'm actually going to read these from the book as well. I don't know if I'm going to read the whole description, but I am going to read them for the book because... I haven't fully got these ones down yet, although we all know what manifestation is and how to go about it. <laughs> if we're watching this channel, we do, most of us anyway.
and it has to do with releasing the outcome, being present in the moment, and visualizing all of your achievements and all your hard work paying off and knowing it's going to. It's basically positive thinking. <clears throat> spell manifestation. Make a wish or cast a spell. Your magic works so very well. Be sure to keep the threefold law. Gifts abound all the more. This magic has worked with harm to none, so mode it be there, it is done. And that's also part of being grateful as well. Not only being grateful, but also not sending out negative energy. And not and just manifesting the highest good for all in this situation, not trying to manifest it simply because you want to one up people or because, you know, anything like that. It, it's all in your intentions, whether or not your intentions are pure and good when you're manifesting. Remember to keep that in mind. Which is foresight. You have the Midas touch right now. Remember to use clarity when visualizing your desires. Use positive affirmations to ensure the outcomes you wish for. Your spells are working. Study and follow the, th the threefold law. Spell revealed. When you create magical spells with your intent, that desires, and goals, you need to be aware of the outcome. Do what you will, but harm none, as is the threefold law. Your thoughts, actions, words, and deeds are spoken or directed. Need uh, that are spoken or directed needed are need to be for the good of all, including you. Use your powers of concentration, tools, and herbs to invoke magical effects. This is a good time for you to work with spells, which is wisdom. For magic abounds, your manifestation abilities are heightened and a magical energy runs all through you, through all that you put your focus on. Your gift at this moment in time is to bring about what you desire, as strong as your understanding of the elements, herbs, and candle magic. But remember to be careful what you wish for, as you could be blind to any unseen factors if the action that you take is not for the highest good. Once again, when you pray for something, or when you wish for something, or when you use magic to gain something, whatever you're doing to gain something, remember to... Do it for the greatest good for all. For the outcome to be the greatest good for all involved. And not for a specific outcome. Manifestation asks you to heed the threefold law and remember whatever you put out comes back to you. Be transparent about your wishes and take into consideration any consequences that may occur. Live according with harmony in accordingly in harmony with a level of consciousness that will harm none and be aware of your thoughts and words at every moment master this and you will be in a position to receive everything you ask for eye of newton toe of frog wool of bat and tongue of dog adder's fork and blind worms something lizard's leg and i was just kind of wondering what that said on it <laughs> so cauldron and containment Page 30. Hubble bubbles not the way. Simmer softly await the day. Keep within that which you know time will come for you to show. This magic has worked with harm to none, so mote it be there it is done. Peace, persistence, and patience. And realizing that you don't have to put all your cards out there at once. Carry some close to your chest and put them out there as needed in a way. Which is foresight. There's information missing. Someone is hiding something from you. Don't make your move until you have all the details. Harness and nature your, nurture your natural gifts. The world is not ready for what you have to offer. Wait until the time is right. And you know, this could be other people who have made you feel like the world's not ready for what you have to offer. And it's time to banish that negative energy coming your way. That's kind of what I'm somewhat getting from this. The cauldron revealed. The cauldron represents the sacred womb of the mother goddess. It is used as a ritual ves vessel for the element of water, brewing potions and for casting spells. There may be a need for cleansing here too, cleansing your energy. <clears throat> Papers of regrets, letters to the ancestors, and burnt offerings are placed within the cauldron in a ritual and ceremony. Transformation, rebirth, fertility, and feminine flow from the Western Quarter. So I think there's a lot of transformation coming into your life. There's a lot of things that need to be let go of, though, and released first. There's a lot of things that need to be banished. There's a lot of things, there's a lot of transformation occurring here where you are releasing things that no longer serve you and starting to accept the things that do and move in the direction you feel called to move in. Whilst you are bubbling over the, with anticipation to share with the world, you are advised to keep a lid on things for the moment. For the time to come out is not yet right. That which you hold within is to be contained for a little while longer. So for now, just allow all that you know and feel to simmer gently. Boiling over will not serve you and just may get your fingers burnt. Instead, the cauldron asks you to use this as a time for nurturing and preparation. We were talking about getting burnt by fire earlier. That's funny. 
The feast is promised. Although newly acquired ingredients that have not yet been presented to you need to be first stirred into the pot. Only when you add these fresh additions will you be ready. Be patient, for the signal to move forward will appear in good time, and you will know when it comes. Only then, my dear, can you serve up that which the world will be ready and willing to accept. And so there also might be an energy coming in. I think this is all about really opening up, though, and expressing your true self, which... Maybe there's some more things that you need to go inside and understand before you do that as well. Maybe not express your opinions on something until you think about it yourself and figure it out on your own. Maybe you feel the energies of others quite a bit. And so sometimes that might affect your opinion. And instead you need to take that time to yourself to understand what you really feel about it before you comment on it. 48. Hex or banishment. Watch out, withdraw, and beware. Use discernment and take care. A fool would ignore Hex's alarm. Now banish all potential harm. This magic has worked with harm to none, so mote it be there it is done. Which is foresight. Someone is not who you think they are. Your energy is being drained by another's negative behavior. Beware of jealousy. Choose your friends wisely. Look deeper into an offer or a situation. Something is too good to be true. Time to walk away. Hex revealed. Being hexed is the result of a bell charm or ritual it is negative energy that is directed to create or cause harm or ill effect a hex creates an action directed empowered by the emotional and mental state of the practitioner using the forces talismans and often the personal effects of whoever the hex is focused upon and you know what i wasn't planning on this being a raking reading reiki reading but i'm sending you some energy myself anyway to help balance this out so one thing that's really good to do for this is to be able to Imagine all that negative energy coming at you and imagine yourself behind a force field. Imagine yourself releasing all that negative energy into the universe to be transmuted and healed and brought back to something else. Imagine yourself calling back in all the pieces of yourself and all the light and love, filling yourself up with it and then closing that off with a protective barrier, like a crystal ball of some sort around you and your energy. And then when you're thinking about this negative energy that's coming towards you, Imagine it bouncing off that and going back where it belongs, back to the people who sent it out your way. You don't have to accept any of that into your being. They can send it to you, but what you take in is all up to you. Send that back to them and then send some healing, love, and light with it because really that's what they need more than anything. No one is inherently bad. They just have their own issues, their own hurt, their own scars, their own pain. Send it back with loving energy because that's also what this is talking about over here too. What you send out will come back to you. So don't send it back with ill intents, but send it back with healing energy, which is wisdom. Hex comes as a warning sign for you to be wary of unwanted energies that are being directed your way. Whether you have felt drained as of lately or experienced a prickly feeling, you can be sure that when Hex turns up, you have some vital banishing to do. Be sure to check in with your feelings so that you can determine what or who is sucking the life force out of you or directing negative energy your way. Do not be fearful. Instead, be strong and turn any negative into a per positive personal power. This is a time for you to take a stand and say no more. And I think that's really what this whole year is bringing into you is the ability to take a stand and say no more and to set your boundaries in a healthy way and to get rid of the people that are no longer serving your highest good so that you can be your true self and you can express your true things because you'll have people who will be supportive around you instead of the ones that aren't. Look more deeply into situations and don't take so much on face value. Tread carefully and keep watch for enemies who lurk in the shadows. Your discernment right now gives you a second sight, so trust your instincts and go for the kill. Hex urges you to release, to get rid of, and to banish anything that prevents you from walking your true path. You are protected when you heed this omen. Ignore, ignore it at your peril. So I'm going to pull an extra card or two. Give me just a second. I don't know where I stuck those cards. Just to see who this person may be that you need to remove from your energy field this upcoming year. Because there's somebody here that just doesn't need to be in your energy field. Even if that means that you only cut them off for now till they get better or whatever that could be, you know. Let's see.
Okay, so I think you've found a lot of self-confidence, self-esteem, your passion, your fire. You may be somebody who's a spiritual leader. You may be somebody who is very open and non-judgmental, somebody who's very fiery and passionate, sexual, creative, somebody who really, you might be starting an endeavor of some sort, a business endeavor of some sort. You have learned how to set your boundaries in a healthy manner, and you've learned how to dance in the rain, and you've learned how to express your truth and be your true self. And now you're resting and reflecting, taking this time out to yourself to really go within and understand where you have already done this, and that's how you've been able to create this self-esteem and this self-confidence. And you've worked so hard for some situation. You've worked really, really hard. You've put in all your efforts. You've visualized this beautiful outcome, and you've really believed that you've been working to manifest something stable, strong, solid, committed, something that you can celebrate and love and be happy in. And there's this new connection, this friendship, this happiness, and it just seems so beautiful, but there may be some sort of sadness coming from it. Yeah. Somebody may have impulsively jumped into this, and somebody may also try to make you feel ashamed or guilty of yourself. Somebody may speak harshly to you. Somebody may create a lot of sadness and hurt and pain. Somebody who really wasn't sure where they wanted to place their priorities, really wasn't sure what they wanted to do, but was doing things to please others, you know, and somebody may end up walking away in this situation. But that's okay because it's going to cause a lot of growth and it's going to cause there's going to be somebody else coming in. There's going to be somebody coming in that is going to move very quickly. Somebody that's going to come at you like just very passionately, very fertile, very forward momentum with a lot of communication, a lot of spirituality, a lot of passion and fire. And it's the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So you're going through this situation up here. And going through this loss so you can learn the truth about where you should be placing your priorities and who you should be giving your time to and how not to just do things to make others happy. And you're learning how to walk away from things that no longer serve you so that you can find somebody who is on the same level as you. And by the